Hundreds of people lined the procession route today, some waving American flags to show their respect and their support for Deputy Magley and his family. And this was the scene along Gun Highway as the hearse carrying the deputy passed by. Eight on your side's Megan Gannon joins us now live in Pasco County along State Road 54 where the pro processional passed through earlier today. Megan. Hey, good evening, Keith and Jen. Yeah, like you said, hundreds of people were gathered here along State Road 54. Kids, adults, people from different parts of the Bay Area, and they were all here to honor Deputy Michael Magley. Hundreds of people waving flags and paying respect as Deputy Michael Magley was taken to his final resting place. We, um felt it was very important to show our respects to this deputy. For Jim Siglio, this hits close to home. As we we officer for 30 years, I have to come out here and stand behind my brothers and sisters. He says Deputy Magley worked to protect the community until the very end. He put his life down and sacrificed his life for all of us, all, everybody. This also hits close to the heart for Shannon Miller, as her husband is a Tampa police officer. I can't imagine what this family is going through. We're praying for them and all law enforcement. The community showing Deputy Magley's family just how grateful they are for his service. We just want to show the family how much our community cares. That Deputy Magley, he is such a hero and he died protecting our community. Now that processional, it did have lots of law enforcement officers, not just from right here in the Bay Area, but of course around the state as well. We do know it ended at Trinity Memorial Gardens. That is where there was a service for close friends and family of Deputy Magley. Reporting live in Pasco County this evening, Megan Gannon, 8 on your side.